So yes, there's a couple of reasons why I can't believe that this card's in the game. Because you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, we're doing a gameplay on the new Galaxy Oval Shack. And the reason I have to say new Galaxy Oval Shack is because there's already been the Showtime one, and then obviously the glitched one too. But today, 2K dropped the bombshell because they did drop this GOAT Galaxy Oval Shack. And you guys know, a GOAT card pretty much means it's 99 everything. Now I bought this card on my own account for 2.5 million MT. So yeah, he was a little bit pricey, but he actually looks kind of worth it. Because obviously it's Shaq. He's seven foot one, 325 pounds, just an absolute beast in the paint. And um, he's also nine years old. But yeah, so you guys ready to see these stats? He's got pretty much 99 everything. Like 97 three ball. I said he was a beast in the paint. He's also a beast outside of the paint. He can shoot threes and he can do absolutely everything with 99 standing dunk, 99 driving dunk, and 98 ball handling. Like the craziest part about goat cards is these types of players that shouldn't be able to shoot, shouldn't be able to handle the ball, and then they can because they've got 99 pretty much everything and yeah i don't even have to say anything about the dunking tendencies they're crazy and just to go with that he comes with 64 hall of fame badges i didn't need to go over these but the main ones that you need to know is he's got range extender and quick draw on hall of fame also dimer he has every single badge that you want on hall of fame on hall of fame and he's nine gold badges i want teardropper flashy passer lob city passer bailout kind of wish that was on hall of fame but that's the only one i see that i would say i wish it was on hall also he's an extremely confident man which that's what i like to see so yeah i'm so excited to use this new goat shack as i said 2.5 million mt on my own account is a bit hefty so i'm gonna set a light goal real quick for you guys so you can see shack he's number 34 so let's see if we're able to get 3,400 likes on this video i know you guys can destroy that so let's see but yeah i don't really know what else to say about this shack you guys can see the team it looks so good we've got kareem at power forward and wilt at center off the bench actually you know what i'm gonna do it's only right that we take out lebron and put in kobe bryant so now we've got kobe and shack in the starters fun fact i actually think this kobe bryant's gonna get a dynamic duo with Shaq. But anyway, that's a story for another day. So yeah, this is the squad. We are 2-0 and, and there is new unlimited rewards for this weekend with like players for pretty much every single win that you get. So that's pretty nice. I don't really care though because I already have them, but we are 2-0. and Let's see if we can get another win. Let's see how Shaq goes. So let's get to it. And we have found our first opponent. His team is pretty good too. So let's see how this goes. Wait. This is the dude I played in Zion's Legacy yesterday. <laughs> so this game for sure should be pretty interesting because in yesterday's episode of Zion's Legacy, we went into double overtime. So it was a bit of a thriller, but let's see if we can play good defense straight away with this Kobe Bryant on Andre Kirilenko. I don't know. Andre Kirilenko definitely doesn't scare me that much. And that's good. Wow, that was an open shot. Shaq just bullies his way and gets the rebound straight away. I see Kawhi. I see Lamelo. Let's give it to him. Let's take the assist or get free throws. I'm happy with that. Shaq versus Wiseman. You can see the D. Defense, the lateral quickness at 99 really is helping out because that is just absolutely perfect. Let's give it to Shaq this time. Go the hop step on the inside for the dunk. Shaq gets his second rebound, and I am liking him with the rebounds. Look at how fast this man is. Oh, my. All right, Shaq, I see. He tried to go for an inbound steal, which might hurt him because now he can just go the hop step, go up, free... That was 34%, okay. I don't know. I really just want to put it in his hands pretty much every single possession because it does seem to be working if we do. I don't know what is happening here. Let's give it to Kawhi and then let's actually call a pick and fade. You ready? You ready? He definitely expects me to roll. So let's kick it to him here. Let's take this one baseline and this is just an instant score. What a dunk. Yeah, I can see why Shaq is hyped after that. Wow. We play perfect defense too and just look at Shaq's speed. Like, do I have to say it anymore? I love it. And you ready? I can't icon switch. It's just an instant score for my opponent if I can't can't icon switch. It's so frustrating when this happens. Like literally I'm pressing R1. I'm pressing R1 and I can't do anything. Like what? Yeah, look, I don't know if I'm going to be able to score like every point through Shaq, but so far it's been going pretty well. That's a good hop. Grab his third rebound. Good. I'm going to try and get a couple of more assists too. So let's give it to Lamelo this time. Going the hop step once again. It is pretty cheesy, but when it works with a player, you got to kind of continue to do it. Let's go in the post this time with Shaq. Maybe this is the post fade. Good shot. Shaq, take Wiseman. You should be able to just destroy him. Going up there, free throws. His free throw release isn't great, but it's fine. And I mean, we are shooting 70% with him, so not too too bad. He's such a good rebounder. He's got four so far, but it seems like he's got so many more. There's another dunk. And I've now got so much more height on the court. I love it. So let's give it to Shaq this time. Take it all the way. What a poster. Yeah, and straight away, we're starting to get a lot more steals with this taller team. That's what I like to see. And let's maybe take this one down low. Another hop step. I do see Kareem. So let's give it to our other goat card. Yes, he does have that Michael Beasley, but he's just not good enough. And just like that. Do you guys see what I see? Shaquille O'Neal with sharp shooting takeover. No, it's not a glitch or anything. He actually has sharpshooting takeover with Hall of Fame range 
and all these types of badges. Like, what more do I have to say? We're going to drive anyway, though, and still score. We are playing so much better right now. Let's go to the Snatchback. I want to finally pull a three. Shaq from three, baby. Oh, yes. And we got another rebound. I just can't believe how quick this man is. Like, yes... Probably could have pulled that three, but let's actually just call something here. And then let's call a pick and fade. We only got one shot off with that takeover, but at least we are still going to be open for that midi. Shaq, what a steal by you, baby, on that fast break. And now let's kick it back to him. Probably could have pulled that, but I think I'm going to chill. And let's actually try out some dribbles. This is Shaquille O'Neal with speed boosting dribbles, hop step inside, tough take. But wow, I don't know. I just keep, want to keep on putting it in Shaq's hands because it's really working. And let's just go up this time. Tough, but that's a flagrant, isn't it? Let's go. I can't lie. His free throw actually is pretty tough, but we get it that time. And another crazy thing is I've actually not even been, really been a big fan of Shaq's pass cards, like his glitched one. And I know I used to get a lot of comments saying, why don't you use the glitch Shaq? It's like the best card in the game. I personally didn't like him, but I love this one. I can't breathe. I'm waiting for the exhale. Oh yeah, we got a steal. And now let's give it to Shaq. I don't know if we can get the hop step this time. That's tough just because he is a little bit tired but that's fine because we're going to step up on this three and i know he wants to take it eddie curry you know you're going to get defended well by this shaquille o'neal and kevin durant six foot ten shooting guard you gotta love it i'm trying to get the steal this time that's just perfect recovery defense then we jump up there get the block and the rebound with shaq in the same possession yes he might be a bit slow but giving it to kareem this time let's also just get an assist the crazy thing is though it is only a one point game but you got to know that it's because i'm scoring every single point with shaq and we're taking shots just like that missing unfortunately but it's going to work out anyway because the hop step this time easy yams i kind of just want to keep these starters no this bench squad on but i'm not too sure shaq from three shaq i want you to bully this james wiseman down low look at his strength like he just seems so much bigger the hook i like it oh yeah jonathan isaac gets us that steal i see shaq running it inside but he actually goes outside for the three three points is better than two but we do get another shot from three that's a bad release and it's going to miss don't talk about it. I mean, I can't really be mad at that after what just happened to him. So let's give it down to Shaq here for another standing dunk. I want to kick it up to him here and then catch and shoot. That's the shot. Grab that board, says Kawhi. And yes, I see some man, some beautiful man in transition. It is Shaq from three, missing that one. That's fine because we're going to kick it back to him. Hop step and then just... I'm so mad he missed that. I'm so mad he missed that. Larry actually just got his first stat. He doesn't even have a rebound or anything. So that's kind of crazy. Back to Kawhi in the corner. That's the play. And he just reached and tried to get a steal with Wiseman. So now that gives us a wide open two. And I know Shaq must be getting a little bit tired. But I do like running him in these times because... I feel like he's going to put in some work. I should have got him on the cut that time. We did. And now let's just go like the hook or something. I don't know. He's score anyway. It's a bad shot. We need this rebound. And Larry's going to be the one that picks it off for us. And you guys see the man, the myth, the legend with the speed. The craziest part about this game right now is my opponent is not a bad player. Like he's making some good plays. Lamelo just got us a big steal. He's trying to reach with Wiseman that time. But we get the behind the back. Back down to Lamelo. Probably could have taken that. But let's go the hop step. Back to Shaq. Probably could have taken that one too. But on Wiseman going up that's tough that's real real tough but guess who's on his own rebounds it is this Shaquille O'Neal rebound number 10 and it's a big rebound too we ended up pulling it down now it's only a four point game and it looks like he is going to foul maybe I'm not even sure going the hop step going up another standing Let's get that inbound steal. And that right there is game over. Shaq gets us another steal. We're actually getting quite a few steals in these final few minutes. Not a great take, but guess who's on the board straight again? Nope. We got snatch blocked, but we still get the score. <laughs> well, we still get the free throws, so we're all good. He makes the first. And to make it 58 points for this game, I'm pretty happy with that. And just like that, we ended up winning this game by five points. It was a tight one, but I was super happy with the way Shaq played. Because in 20 minutes, Shaq had 58 points, 11 rebounds, five assists, three steals, two blocks. Unfortunately, five turnovers. They were mainly on me. Shot 24 of 42, which is a pretty good percentage. 3 of 11 from 3. Not great. Some of the 3s I took were terrible, but also had 7 dunks. 100% from free throw. I mean, there's not much you can complain about when literally we won the game as well. And just like that, we are now 3-0. And I can't lie, I actually didn't expect Shaq to be that good. Because he was actually crazy. But I do want to try out a few more things, like lobs. Also, his dribble moves. So we're going to get into another game. Again, we're sticking with this team with Kobe as well. I quite liked it. So let's try out some new things. With 3-0, let's make that 4-0. Let's get to it. And our next opponent definitely has a good team. I can't breathe. I'm waiting for the exhale. Shaq gets his first rebound already. And yes, we're going to try out some drill moves here. So look at how good they are. Like, they're so quick. It's because he has Pro 2 as his, like, dribble package, which is crazy. Because that's meant to be on guards. And yeah, it's 99 overall Shaq. 
who has it for us. I'm sorry to martyrize him, but we're just going to bully you down low. Go up. Who else can do that in this game? What a steal by Kawhi that time. And I want to see Shaq take it on Larry Bird. Take it all the way and get another... Okay, he missed. He missed. That's fine. We can't make everything in this game. And going against Goat Larry Bird should be a bit tough, but Shaq misses that one. You know what? It's fine. Because we're going to give it back to him this time. Then go to the little hook. I like that. Okay, I'm actually going to call it a quick ISO just to give some space so we can actually see this Shaq's drill moves. So, wow. Like, I can't believe his drill moves. I'm not even good at drill moves, bro. Like, I suck at them. But are you seeing how quick these are? Like, the ball is just flying through his hands and my opponent has no idea how to defend it. Then we'll be able to get an easy playmaker and play, playmaking assist after. This has been such a bad game by my team. I'm not sure what I've done wrong, but that's a deep three. Shaq hits it. Yeah, so I'm kind of not playing smart, which is the reason why this game, it, we're losing. We're losing, but it's fine because we can change that pretty quickly. Shaq, dribble it up for me, baby. Dribble it up for me. Actually, he knows I want to go for the roll. So I'm just going to do a fade this time and watch this work. Watch me get a wide open three. There it is. There's the shot. Bad release. It's in. Shaq, I see you down low. Kick it to him. Another dunk. Yes, he gets us the block and the rebound straight after. I need to look a bit better. I'm really not playing great this game because I'm making passes like that. But at least Shaq is definitely helping out. You guys see what I see? I see Shaquille O'Neal. Yes, he went for the midi, but I'll still take it. And now, now's our opportunity to throw up the lob. Shaq will finish. Let's go. Oh my boy. I can't believe that went in. Give me this steal. Yeah, we're going to get it. Shaq's going to... No, Shaq isn't the one that I have it in his hands. But I'm just going to go the hop step this time. It's a score. It's a score every day. This is another steal with Lamelo this time. And I know I've got a score. But kicking it back to Shaq. What a play. What... When would that ever happen in real life? Yes, sir. It's time. Shaq now has takeover. And you know what that means? We don't even have to stop. We can just get take the moving shots. I'm really liking Kareem at power forward, which is really crazy to think about because he's what? Seven foot one. And then we've got another seven foot one center being Shaq. Oh yeah. And did I forget to mention that they're both goat cards as well? Sorry about that. Jonathan, let's get that one. And now I see Shaq trailing. He is actually going to read this, but he's not going to read it well enough because we get the snatch back three. Yep. Shaq gets us a steal that time. That's the Hall of Fame interceptor. And look at him just dribbling the ball up like he's just got way too much speed so we shot pretty badly 50 percent but still i was pretty happy with this game but because of the situation like the whole weekend thing i'm actually going to give this dude the win just because i may as well i don't have anything to lose so there we go so there we go that's the gameplay on this galaxy opal goat shaquille o'neal this card's crazy now do i recommend him because right now he's going for 2.5 million mt now the way i'd compare him is i'd say yes he's much better than will i'd say he's the same as kareem except kareem is just a little bit better because of his release but for 2.5 million MT, I'd say he's definitely better than MJ and also Magic. Although he runs a different position, the man is just a monster. So anyway, that's my opinion on this card. Let's see if we can get that 3,400 likes. I'd appreciate it a lot because it cost me a lot of MT to get this man. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, subscribe if you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.